Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Salute the Magpie 2016 award ceremony. Please welcome your hosts, Jack Mobley and Harry Matthews. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the inaugural Salute the Magpie Awards for 2016. Yes, it is that time of year again. I know you're all excited. Who's going to come out as winners this year? Yes, uh, we've got some cracking categories, some cracking bands. It's just an overall great year for music. It has, it has. It's been a fantastic year for music, Jack. For newcomers, old timers, uh, just generally, been been fantastic. Yes. And uh, without further ado, we're going to get into it with our first award of the evening. It is Best Newcomer. What have we got to say about this? Well, it's been a, a great year for newcomers, as I've said. Uh, this, this award, it can only propel them further into fame and fortune. So uh, I'm, I'm quite excited. It's a nervous time for these, for these bands. Yes, uh, all these bands hotly tipped to uh, propel their careers to the next level. And it all starts right here tonight with with the Salute the Magpie Awards. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, let's get in to the nominations. Best Newcomer, Creeper. Milk Tea. Knocked Loose. Puppy. All oh, very tricky category this is. They're all great bands in their own right. Uh, very hotly tipped for future things. Uh, Harry, would you do the honours for the first award? The winner of the Salute the Magpie 2007 Newcomer Act is... Creeper! Creeper, yes! Creeper. Fantastic band. Uh, I'm very looking forward to what they have in the future. This is going to be great success for them. Uh, 2017, keep an eye out for Creeper. Unfortunately, Creeper couldn't be here this evening to accept their award, so myself and Harry will be accepting it on their behalf. But uh, no, make no doubts that they are hotly tipped for big things in 2017, and this award is just the start. Up next, we've got the award for Best British Band. So what has been the best homegrown talent of 2016? Yes, it's been a fantastic year for British mm. music across the spectrum. Uh, from metal to hardcore to punk to all those sorts of genres, it's been fantastic. This has been definitely one of the hardest categories that we've had to uh, decide a winner for. Without further ado, let's get into the nominations. Best British Band, Enter Shikari. Black Peaks. Don Broco. Architects. Yes, yeah, some fantastic acts there. Uh, I'm just I'm dying to get in that envelope. Let's have a look. And the winner is for best British band. It's Architects. Fantastic, yes. Yes. brilliant band, brilliant British band. Uh, really flying the flag for uh, for British metal. Pi pioneering British heavy yes, metal, of course actually, I believe. Are. So, um, unfortunately, Architects. Actually, none of the bands are here tonight, are they, Jack? Um, they're not, actually. Uh, so we'll be accepting the awards for every act. Uh, this one's for you, Architects. Yes, yes. So next up, we're going overseas with Best International Band. Yes, very hard category indeed. We're going across the pond and also rest of the world. So uh, let's it'd be interesting. Let's see who the nominations are for this. Best International Band. A day to remember. Death Tones. Trophy Eyes, Ghost. So, let's unveil a winner. Harry, would you do the honours? Sure thing, Jack. Oh wow, they're right back at it again. Just like you always said, it's a day to remember! Yes, this award's for them, best, best international band. They've killed it this year. New album, they've gone to new heights with it. And uh, yeah, well deserved, well done about the day to remember. Couldn't agree more, Jack, couldn't agree more. Now we've got all the festival antics that go on at festivals. Uh, if we can remember them, we will now see what is the best festival 2016. Yes, there's been some cracking festivals last year. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it with the nominations. 
Fest Festival of 2016. Download Festival. Slam Dunk Festival. Reading and Leeds Festival. Bloodstock Open Air Festival. Oh, it's nice to see quite a variation of full weekend and day festivals thrown in there, isn't it? Yes, well, without further ado, let's find out the winner. Slam Dunk Festival! What? Yes, great festival for men, great lineup. they always nail it every year. Props to the organisers, they always seem to just know what, what kind of wave to catch for this festival. A great, great comp contribution. And this one's for you, Slam Dunk. Well done. Next award is for best live show. Now there's very, there's a lot of different criteria we were looking at here. You know, energy, production, sound, all those sorts of different elements. Uh, but there's been some top contenders for this award this year, hasn't there, Harry? Yes, yes, and uh, I think you agree. If you attended any of the shows that we've got up for nomination, uh, you'll be quite hard passed to, to pick a winner out of these. So uh, let's see what the nominations are. Best live show, neck deep. Enter Shikari. Architects. Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes. So yeah, those were some mental gigs. Harry, would you do the honours? I will indeed, sir. I will indeed. Ooh, and the winner is Enter Shikari. Incredible show. Incredible, incredible live setup. Deserving winners of this category. Deserving. Absolutely groundbreaking. This is for you, Shikari. Right, back to the good with Rockstar of the Year, Harry. Yes, yes. So, in the world of alternative music, uh, who are the individuals who have stood out, made an impact, or simply just done the most outrageous things this year? Yeah, without further ado, let's have a look at the nominations. Rockstar of the Year. Corey Taylor. Jason Butler. Austin Carlisle, David Bowie. Right, some uh, pretty big names on that list, but let's see who's won, Harry. Let's have a look then. All pretty cool dudes, I must say. Uh, but this is the most, a very prestigious award. Jason Butler. Well done, Jason. Kudos to you, dude. Uh, on stage and off stage, always making an impact. Very cool dude. Next up, we'll be sidetracking from our main awards and be giving out the most influential trophy given to uh, the Musician of the Year who has just been the most influential on, on the music scene, really. Yes, this year was very tough. We had a lot of contenders, but we thought we could only give it to one person, and that is... Uh, Harry, would you be able to...? Uh, it, no doubt it is Tom Searle of Architects. Um, not only being influential musically, uh, socially, also, his untimely death brought this all to the forefront of our minds, uh, and this is kind of also uh, um, an award to celebrate Tom's life as well. So, uh, wherever you are, awesome. I've been enjoying my night so far, haven't you, Jack? Yes, it's been a great party, a great celebration of the music of 2016. Yeah, really good evening. So, um, uh, we're coming to the end now, though, uh, and unveiling our final award, our most prestigious award here. Uh, it is Album of the Year. Yes, there's been some fantastic entries this year. Really hard to narrow it down to just one album, one band. But uh, without further ado, we need to have a look at the nominations. Best Album of 2016. Basement, Promise Everything. Milk Teeth, Vile Child. Architects, All Our Gods Have Abandoned Us. Let Live. If I'm the devil. What a fantastic year for music. Showcased by our nominations here for Best Album of the Year. Uh, let's get, let's crack on. Let's see who has won this award. I'm a bit nervous about this one, you know. Mm. Um, the winner for Best Album of the Year for 2016 is... It's Architects with All Our Gods Have Abandoned Us. Whoa, well done. Fantastic album from Architects this year. I don't think there could have been any other winner, to be honest with you. I think we're all just 100% on this band, on this album. Album of the year. I'm just too emotional. <laughs> it's okay, mate, it's okay. 
And those have been our awards for this year. If you're interested to see the reasoning behind it, definitely check out our discussion video with all the bands that we go through and all the awards. Yes, we definitely go uh, deeper analysis on why we chose these bands for nominations uh, and get little hints about why we also chose the overall winners as well. By no means we did not cover every single band, so make sure you drop a comment to uh, say who you think should have won what category. Make sure you do that. Also, like and subscribe as well, that'd be fantastic for us. Yep, in 2017 we're going to be uh, maximising the content that we can bring to you. So uh, it's going to be a very interesting year to say the least. Yes, and ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the Salute the Magpie Awards. I've been Jack. And I've been Harry. And we'll see you next time. See you later, guys. Thank you.